Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ask the Knight. You know me, I am the knight. You ask me questions, I give you answers. And it's a Kaiju Noir special. And the first question. Has there ever been a character from an alternate universe, example Spider-Man 2099, and Dark Knight Returns Batman you'd like to see gain more attention? Interesting question. I'd probably lean towards Dark Knight Returns Batman purely because it's one of the best comic book slash graphic gra graphic novel versions of Batman because you get to see Batman, I believe to say he's in the twilight of his years or the autumn of his career where he's not as young and as fast as he used to be, but he's still got all the knowledge, the experience, and the savviness up there, and that makes him even more dangerous as a crime fighter slash vigilante and, of course, world's greatest detective. I like the way that Frank Miller took Batman to a point where it kind of reconnected with the essence of the character. You know, the character had been, you know, had gone through so many campy years, you know, especially in the wake of the Adam West TV series, and you know, that was Batman for a, a long time, but when you look at the, the origin and the roots of what Batman's character is, Frank Miller, in my opinion only, took Batman back to what he should be. Again, opinion only. So, I'd like to see, if anything, I'd like to see what could happen if they actually turned Dark Knight Returns into a TV series, purely just to see how they could adapt that. Oh, that answers your question. Question two. What franchise or fictional character have you been wanting to get into, yet haven't, uh, haven't got time for? Hmm. Random DC recently acquired the first season of Arrow, and I gotta say, that's some of the best TV. I've seen in Lord knows how long. I like the way that they kind of play the Oliver Queen character where the character is very diverse and there's a, and there's a duality to, uh, to his character where he plays the arrogant playboy uh, heir to the throne of the company that he is supposed to inherit from his father but at the same time he knows what objectives and responsibilities he has to do as Green Arrow, and I think it's that, like I say, it's a very complex character, you know. This is not the best analogy or the best comparison, but it kind of reminds me how they portrayed Prince Adam in the 1983 He-Man and the Masters of the Universe series. You know, Adam would be the playboy, but it's an act. You know, the defender of, uh, you know, of good and truth, as he is as what he and Man at Arms know him to be, and as He-Man, that's who he is. So, with the Oliver Queen character, I like how, you know, the rich party playboy, it's an act. And, you know, Arrow is who he is. And it's, it's in the same respect, how you look at more or less any interpretation or portrayal of Bruce Wayne Batman. The party playboy act for Bruce Wayne, it's purely for show. Batman is who he is. And that's what I like about complex characters, because there's, there's so many layers to them, and I like that. And your third question. Uh, which fictional vehicle would you like to see as an Autobot and Decepticon? Well, I've seen a Camaro, I've seen a Mustang, Real tough call. Uh, if we're talking live action movies, I'd like to see them to see how they would pull off making a transformer into a train. I know they've done that. Uh, I think they did that in the original G1 series. I know they did that in one of the Unicron um, trilogy series. I'm not 100% sure on the information about that, but I know I have seen a Transformer that goes from a train into an Autobot. So, if my information is incorrect, you know, as usual, comment section below. 
And we come to the end of another question, another episode of Ask the Night. You know the format by now. Question in either the comments section below, or and then or on the social media link to my Twitter page. But until then, folks, ask again and good night from the night.